Next, we'll be using a piece number number two, which is the desktop. You can recognize why there is a hole in the middle like that. Now, first, we need to put in all the screw in where you can find a plastic hole like that, plastic ring. We put in all the screw in. By now, the table must have one, two, three, four, five, and six screw putting in like so. Next, we put it in the wooden dowel in. One there, one there, one on this edge, one on this edge, one there, one there. Now remember, 60% hammer in and 40% out. And it should look like so. Next, we put in the plastic button in. Remember, and again, arrow must be faced towards the hole where the screw coming in one there one there one in the back and two from the inside there on each side one there one there one there and one there next we put in the desk on top of like that and position like so and now we start locking it in. By locking, we give it a light tap, like so. And using a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and lock it in clockwise. And same for the rest of the positions. Next, we're installing the desk drawer for the keyboard. First, we join the nut piece number seven, which is this piece, and put in two screw in where you can see the plastic ring. And on this side here, you put in a wooden dowel in the middle, and now we join it together to the piece number 12, like so. Now we firmly lock it in, same again clockwise to lock it in. Next we put in the rail in. Now bear in mind we put one side of the rail. Make sure the rubber end is facing to the front where the front panel is. And at the edge there as you can see there's no rubber end. This is the correct insulation for the rail on this piece. And same thing on the other side as well. Just tie the screw in so and so there and one there and now we're ready to put the drawer in next we install in the keyboard drawer in like so next now we're going to install the upper piece of the desk now you can light light out all the pieces like so on the left hand side the two shelves and the drawer sections for the upper right side like so now first what we do is wherever you can find a plastic ring hole there we put in and install in all the screw like so for the rest of the area and all the positions of the screw everything is nicely tied in like that now bear in mind for the upper cupboard on the right hand side the piece you have locate must have two holes the bottom one has got no hole because the top one we're going to installing something else later on and bear in mind the piece must have two holes on the top Next, we put in the hinge for the door. We put positions like so. Now we're putting first piece like in position like that. And later on we put in like this, but it should look like that. That type of position. Now with a small bag, 
that is actually provided are the screw, medium screw for the hinge here. So we tightly put in position like so. Overhaul. Overhaul. Using the overhaul positions. Bear in mind, there's a tip for you. Make sure you put in only the overhaul in these positions. And later on when we install it in, once it's actually in position, we put the rest of the two screw in to hold it in the tight position later on. Now we start with the top bit. Now we start with the top piece with the two holes. We tap in the wooden dowel on each side, like so. Remember, same rules, 60% in, 40% out. Now we start with the lower piece, same thing again, we put in the piece, one on each end, the wooden dial in, 60% in, 40% out. Now we put the lower piece in position like so, and we put in the locking device, white button in, like that. Now we put in the top piece like that as well. Now bear in mind at this stage, the two hole must be on this side on top here. That mentioned before, must be at this position. We lock it in, one, and there. Next, we are using the piece number six, which is the light color in the background. First, we put it on the back. Now we put and join in the rest of the piece that we have put in previously, we join in number one, which is the top part there, and the lower piece, with piece number 17, and also the cupboard piece that we have joined earlier, like that. Now we join together, and put it like so. Now at this stage here, we're using the piece number six as a background, lay down in the back now we join in all the pieces that we have done previously for the cupboard next we join the piece number one which is the upper piece there to the unit and the piece number 17 at the back to the unit now once we do that before we do that on the base piece here we put in all the screw where you can find the plastic ring. We screw in all the screw in, in position, before we're putting the dark green shelf on top of this unit. One is actually in position. We put in the white plastic dowel in. Again, has to be arrow pointing the arrow to the screw. And once everything in position, we turn it clockwise and lock it in position, like so. And the end product should look like so. Next, on the piece 11L on the side there, before we put it in, we put in some plastic, the wooden dowel in. Remember, 60% in, 40% out again. One there, one there, one down there and one there and also four on this side one on the top one on the bottom on the side and there next we join in the number the piece number 11 L on this side next we put in the piece number 11 L which is the left hand side and join it in like so we we'll put one white plastic ring there and one white plastic button there. And we we'll put one at the bottom and one on the other side as well. Next we we'll lock it in clockwise, turning clockwise one there, one there. And also two at the bottom to lock it in. One there and one on the other side. Now we're going to install the other side of the panel. 
which is the 11R, which is a cupboard side. First, we're putting all the white button in. One there, one at the bottom, and two at the back. Now, we'll put it in position, give it a light tap, and secure it in and lock it in. Now we're going to assemble the top piece to this bottom piece. Now before you do it, make sure you put in four screw wherever you can find the white plastic ring. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Now as for the top piece, before you assemble to the bottom piece, make sure you put in all the wooden dowel, dowel in. And remember the same rule, 60% in, 40% out. Two on the top, two in the middle, and two on the side. Now you, once you put it in positions, lightly tap. Make sure it's nice and tight before you lock in the white button in. Again, clockwise in positions. One there, and lock in there, and also two in the back. Next, we're going to install in the handle of the cupboard, which looks like so. Now we flip it over and install the two handles, one there and one there. And once you finish, you put in a screw over there to put in the handle for the piece. And the handle of the black knob there and tightly secure it in like so and now we're ready to put the door handle into the desk next we put in that door and attach to the cupboard area like so and now the cupboard is complete like that next you have to install in the antenna which is on top of it bolt in two screw in and then attach the antenna on top and by now the whole unit should like should look like so and you have complete your job